Hi everyone, I'm Nicholas. Welcome back to another video. Today we're taking a look at the Halo Smartwatch 2. So I was able to spend some time with the smartwatch and today we're going to go through all the quirks and features that the smartwatch offers. Kicking things off with the price, you'll be surprised that it only costs 20 US dollars. So that's roughly somewhere around 80 Malaysian ringgit. For a smartwatch with such a price, it packs a lot more features than it should have. So let's talk about the exterior of the smartwatch. It weighs around 38 grams, so that's fairly very light. It has a 1.4 inch LCD display and it runs on Bluetooth 5.0. The strap that is provided in the smartwatch is removable, so you're able to uh, swap with another strap that probably is of the same size. The one that is provided is a breathable silicone strap, but in my opinion, it's slightly cheap in terms of quality and materials. The overall interface of the watch exterior is very premium and of course I really enjoy the gunmetal grey colour. So being IP68 rated means that you can have an ease of mind when you go swimming, uh, showering or you know, being under the rain. The smartwatch too can handle almost all the sports activities. As for the battery, it's a pretty small one but it's able to last you up to 20 days. And if you're not an active user, it can last up to 30 days on standby. It has a proprietary connector to USB. So if you lose this, then there's no other possible way to charge the watch. On the back of the smartwatch too, it comes with an optical heart rate sensor. There is an option to monitor your heart rate 24 seven throughout the day. Uh, but there's also, you can also turn that off and to choose to monitor your heart rate whenever you want to. So I guess the main reason you would use the smartwatch too is to monitor your sports and activities to see how your overall performance is. So there are 12 different sports modes so that um, it's able to track each activity more specifically. It will show you the duration that you have been working out, um, your heart rate, and also the amount of calories that you have burned so far. So everything from indoor running to integrated training, weight training, um, all the different kinds of sports, they are all supported. The watch itself also acts as a pedometer, so it is able to track the amount of steps that you walk in a day. Not only that, um, just like any other watch, it can also act as a stopwatch. Now, besides sports, the smartwatch 2 is also able to monitor your sleep. It can identify whether you had a peaceful sleep throughout the entire night, whereby it records um, the different intervals of your deep sleep, and it helps you understand your sleep status better. I know a lot of people out there are really concerned with their sleep quality, but to be honest, a cup of coffee will solve everything. Now, just when you think that the smartwatch 2 has finished, there are more functions to it. It supports push notifications, so it's able to identify incoming calls, messages, and even line notifications from, um, let's say WhatsApp, Telegram, and so on. So say for example, if you have scheduled a meeting and if you have a notification from that, it will also prompt you on the smartwatch. It has a sedentary reminder, so if you're sitting too long, um, it will prompt you to you know, take a walk. And I think that's really useful at a time where everyone is working from home. Now, just like some of the premium smartwatches in the market, the gyrometer in the smartwatch 2 is able to identify when you raise the watch to your face. Therefore, it only lights up when you're looking at your phone and it also saves battery in this sense. You can also use the smartwatch 2 as a device to look for your smartphone if you do misplace it. So in conclusion, I think this is an amazing watch for an amazing price. So of course, it supports both platforms, iOS and Android, and the amount of features that is packed in the smartwatch 2 is honestly way worth for the amount of price that you're paying. So that is my take on Halo's smartwatch 2. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please be sure you leave a comment in the comment section box below. Let me know what you think of this smartwatch. Are you going to get it? Thank you everyone so much for watching. My name is Nicholas and I will see you guys in the next one.